Good morning. Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, today we're celebrating 20 years with uh, resonance frequency analysis. And I've been uh, on the journey, so to say, for 20 years. So what I would like to do as a little introduction to uh, Dr. Van den Bogard and Peter Moy uh, is to discuss the history of, of the system and then to make some, some claims about the technique. Today, commercially, this is known as OSTEL. Underlying technique is resonance frequency analysis. And I would like to do some statements before we start here. This is a non-invasive implant uh, technique for implant stability measurements. And we know now from 20 years of use and research that it gives relevant information about the state of the implant bone interface at any time point uh, during the treatment and follow-up of, of the patients. The question is, what should we have the technique to? Can we use it for something? Well, we can use it to monitor integration, as we will beautifully see in the coming presentations. We can use it to decide when to load our implants. We can use it to avoid failures. And finally, we can also uh, use it to diagnose uh, old cases that comes back to your office, the patient has a problem, it may be pain, swelling, whatsoever. With one measurement, you can actually tell if the implant uh, is still integrated and had, uh, have a good degree of uh, stability or not.